Okay guys, what's good? How you doing? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Vinal TV. If you are new to this channel and if you are, please consider subscribing. I will appreciate it. Thank you very much indeed for stopping by. Thank you very much indeed for clicking. I want to show you what we got here. We got this gear. This is HP Lesser Jet Multifunctional M140 WE printer. This printer is dual band. You can connect it via Wi-Fi network and USB cable connection. I'm going to give you an overview of this printer. Show you step by step how to connect this printer to Wi-Fi network. Before we start, I'm going to turn this printer around. This is one of the world's smallest lesser jet printer. And from the back here, this is the power cable. The power cable is included in the packaging. Two power cable is included. One is two pin and the other one is three pin. The one right here is three pin, is connected. And just by the side here, we have the USB cable spot. I want to say, unfortunately, USB cable is not included. We have this Advenet Tech Store free delivery here in UK. And it goes in here. Just need to push it inside. And this flat end, goes to the back of your PC and you download the software, it will recognize this printer. At the moment, what I'm going to do is just to show you step by step how we can connect this printer with Wi-Fi network via wireless device. Okay, and here is the scanner, flat bell scanner. You can stick your document ID card on top of the scanner and select the function you want and it will do the job. So you select the function from this end here going to open up this printer this printer is using 142 air toner if you check my video see how we loaded the toner this is what it looks like very beautiful and you just need to follow the instruction and go in watch my video you see how we loaded the toner you hear a click sound and gently close it open up this end this is the button casket you load various sizes of paper, A4 paper right here, load A4 paper, A5, B5, various sizes of paper, and print it out from right here. So this is the, this is LCD screen, going to show you. From the LCD screen, you can see this is the Wi-Fi button, it's right now flashing. This is the on and off button for this printer. This is for you to cancel. And this is for you to resume or start the job. This is up and down arrow. At the moment, what we need to do is to connect this printer to Wi-Fi network. And I need you to get your mobile device. And this is what we need right now. For us to do this, we need to get my mobile device. You also need to make sure you have HP account because this printer, six months of instant ink is included with the packaging is included with this printer though you need to act you require an activation of your account and set up ink registration then after six months fee is applied so you can cancel this subscription it's not uh, compulsory myself i like to use pay as you go okay so like i mentioned this is small world smallest printer never run out and save up to 50% on toner. The cloud connect, smart printing gear, black and white, laser precise. It work efficiently for office use, for student work. Now, for us to connect this printer to Wi-Fi network, I need you to, first of all, make sure you switch off the mobile data. Sometimes it interferes with the connection so what I'm trying to do right now is first of all, remove my mobile data. Okay, now what we need to do right now is then make sure we, your phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network you want to connect this printer to. Go to, go to Play Store. Okay, once you are in the Play Store, download HP Smart App. So go to Play Store, type HP Smart App. Okay, this is HP Smart App. Then download it. It's already downloaded on my phone. Click it open. And once you click it open, right now it's trying to open. 
I also want to show you because you can see this blue light flashing right now signify that this printer is not yet connected to Wi-Fi network. Once it's connected, it will be a steady blue light. It will no longer be flashing. I just want to mention that. Now, the next thing we need to do is um, we need to look for this printer. You can see a bell, okay, and a plus sign. Click on the plus sign. Now, once you click on the plus sign, it will ask you to choose a type of printer to add to HP Smart App. Set up a new printer or add a printer that already set up so right now this is a new printer what we need to do is click start okay set up a new printer click get started and the other thing you need to do right now you can choose how do you want to connect this printer you have you have wi-fi and a tank cable so choose wi-fi connection once you choose wi-fi connection the next thing you need to do is click continue and that right now get printer ready to connect to wi-fi network scroll down okay place the printer on its flash surface then plug it in and power on connect your mobile device to wi-fi network turn on nearby device permission location precise location and bluetooth on your mobile device <coughs> excuse me allow access when prompted hp smart require this permission to find and set up your printer your location is not being sent to hp right now you can see the information they need just to give you a piece of, uh just to reassure you this is just the way you need to go so you need to follow the instruction click continue right now once you click continue you can see once you click continue it will start to look for this available printer from what we can see right now you can see hp 140 lesser jet so this printer will find this printer right now click on it right now this is the information we need to this is the office wi-fi connect printer to wi-fi network so we need to, to put the wife the password for the wi-fi network to be able to connect this printer right now which i'm also going to do so i have the details right here so we need to put the details And once you put the details, make sure you cross check it, double check it to make sure the information you put is correct. If not, it will not go ahead. And once you put the detail, click go enter and click continue. Now it asks you Bluetooth is required. Click continue. Now HP Smart App to enable Bluetooth, click allow. Right now it's turning on the Bluetooth okay so right now the next step is you need to find this printer printer is found the next step is preparing the printer starting printer setup right now you can see it's asking us Press the flashing Wi-Fi button on your printer for security will confirm your proximity to the printer. So you can see you have the two options. So you can need to press it. And from this printer right now, so what we need to do is press the Wi-Fi here. Okay. And once you press, so once we press it, we have done that already. So we need to wait. Here we go. Printer is found. What it's doing right now is obtaining IP address. The next step is obtaining IP address. Wait for the printer address. Here we go. Obtain IP address and printer is connected to Wi-Fi network. You can see this printer right now is connected to Wi-Fi network. And also if you look over here, you see a steady blue light. It's no longer flashing. You can see if you look here, you can see a steady blue light okay and i just mistakenly switched it off so right now this printer is is connected to wi-fi network you can look over here if you look over here you can see this 
can, can see printer is connected to Wi-Fi network and what we need to do is click continue and if you look right here you see that this Wi-Fi right now is a steady blue light you can see so right now it's getting information to process so right now this printer is connected to Wi-Fi network see thank you thanks thanks for waiting so right now it's connecting to HP service so right now this printer is connected to Wi-Fi network it's beautiful stuff step by step how to connect this printer to Wi-Fi network if you're happy with this tutorial you just need to follow the instruction and make sure you follow the instruction and uh, for your printer to be set up okay making sure that your printer is registered with HP account this is what it's doing right now but this printer right now like I mentioned is already connected to Wi-Fi network okay so if you're happy with this tutorial Please do consider to subscribe. Thank you and stay blessed. Thank you.